right, all right, here we go, folks. Let's get my little laptop. Yeah, here we are. <clears throat> now we're live. That's what I'm talking about. What's going on, everybody? Old Man Rebel coming at you from Buckeye, Arizona. Happy Friday, folks. Finally, 17th of November, 2023. Gobble, gobble days coming up real quick, folks. Real quick. I've always liked gobble, gobble day. Turkey and beer, football. What else? way to a man's heart awesome times anyway folks we've been off uh been off doing some other things and been busy and uh it's time to uh get back onto the uh soviet submarine series in cold waters with epic mod and today we are taking out the alpha class yes folks yes one of my favorite one of my favorite old time submarines now that i think about it, i got a lot of favorite submarines but there's something about the alpha it was a very unique design, and uh, that's what we're going to be playing in the duel today. So let's get to uh, the duel, 1984. We'll start there. Okay, just a quick little recap for uh, anybody uh, joining the stream and uh, anybody new to my channel. Uh, we are running a series on the cold water. Uh, game with the epic mod installed and right now we're doing the Soviet submarine line and we started off with the whiskey we've done that one with the Foxtrot we've taken out the Romeo and yeah, Romeo was kind of fun the Juliet fun little boat got some missiles on her the golf classic 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 the kilo class uh, Diesel electric submarine. The Tango. The Tango was kind of fun. Y'all remember when we played the Tango? The Tango was awesome. It's like a little battery-powered Victor. Victor class. And yes, we took out the November. The November was uh, the first Soviet uh, nuclear-powered attack submarine built. The Victor. There's my babies. I love the Victors. Victor 1. Victor 2 and Victor 3. Now, it jumps right to the Alpha. I think the submarines in the game are not really in a realistic order of, like, what was first, what came after it, and then it progressed down the line. But, we are talking about the Alpha, so here we go. Now, in the game, folks, there's two Alphas. One and two. This is the first one, and this is the second one. Okay? You'll notice a difference in game because one has the anti-fouling red paint on the underside of the hull, and the previous one does not. It does have a, a coating, but it's not red. Okay, so just a little, uh, little heads up on that. If you look at both submarines, they are pretty much almost identical. But we're gonna, well, there's a couple differences. We're gonna cover that now. So the first, we'll call it the first block, the first Soviet uh, Soviet Alpha you'll get in the game, uh, is the. Let's see, 81.4 meters by 9.5, that's that's correct. Uh, submerged displacement of the submarine is 3,680 tons, okay? Now just to give you an idea of how small the Alpha submarine was, it, it, it's crazy, it, it, it's, it's ridiculous. The length of the submarine, 81.4, yep. That equates to 267 feet for us Americans out there. That is a very short, it's a midget submarine. Well, not really a midget submarine, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, 2,300 ton surface displacement, 3,200, uh, they, they fudge this one a little bit. So they're going with 3,680 tons, but I think we're looking more realistically 3,200. It's a small boat. Uh, the beam of the ship is 9.5 meters wide, so 31 feet, and the draft, 7.6 meters, and this is the, this line's called the boot topping right here. This is where the submarine should be riding on the surface at full load, okay, that's a, called a boot topping. Uh, 25 feet uh, draft. Now here's what's unique about the, uh, the Alpha class submarines, if you don't already know this. Uh, they were very small. They were very highly automated. They were the first 
I think one, two, or two to three boats were built out of titanium, which is a very lightweight metal, and it's also very strong. The only downside to titanium, it's very expensive, okay? The Alpha class submarines were double hull, okay, double hull construction, and with the inner pressure hull and then the outer hull, there was ribbing adding to the strength of that, of that submarine. So it was a very radical design with the materials. Another very interesting aspect of the Alpha class attack submarine, the, the Soviets decided to go with a, a liquid metal cooled reactor. It was lead bismuth. And what was unique about it was because it was a, a liquid metal style of coolant, they could uh, bring the reactor on this submarine up to critical very fast and get the maximum speed and power to just go. That was awesome. The only downside to a, a liquid metal cooled reactor is a problem called bricking, where basically if, if the coolant gets to a low temperature where it starts to solidify, you basically turn your reactor into a big radioactive hunk of metal. You, you can't remelt it, you can't do anything, that's called bricking. And it did happen a couple times. So only a downside to that. The uh, reactor was the OK-550 or the BM-40 Alpha, okay? These were 155 megawatt lead bismuth cooled uh, beryllium moderated reactors. And these reactors were very small. Uh, 40,000 shaft horsepower, single screw, okay? So this will be known as a 1.5, okay? Thank you, Aaron, over a subbrief. You're teaching me how to uh, use naval terms. <laughs> and uh, speed on the surface. What's our speed on the surface? doesn't tell you. It just tells me my flank bell had submerged. So speed on the surface of the Alpha class submarines was rated at uh, 12 knots, between 12 and 22 knots, submerged flank speed was 41 knots, which is 47 miles per hour. These submarines were very small, very tough, built out of titanium. They were basically, uh, think of a Soviet bomber, or think of one of our B-52 bombers, okay? Highly automated. The crew literally is in this compartment right here, okay? And everything else aft of the sail, everything else forward of the sail is all automated. Uh, automated torpedo rooms, automated uh, engine systems, automated reactor systems. Everything is automated on this submarine. The crew of 40 uh, sailors, basically all officers, lived in compartment three. Okay, And that's where they lived, eat, slept, went about their daily... Uh, activities and uh, they monitored all the systems making sure that the submarine was running normally now obviously there were access points to get to certain areas for repair and all that stuff and they did monitor the reactor but unlike an american or nato boat very highly automated where it was like a underwater fighter that's what the soviets were going for they wanted a fast interceptor that could f fire up fast get out there fast, do its thing, and get the hell out of Dodge. That's what they wanted. It's a really, really awesome design. Uh, In-game, the test depth of the Alpha class of submarine is 1,050 feet. Uh, tube stores, we can carry 22 weapons in the racks on the submarine. Uh, number of wires, uh, zero, so you do not get guided, uh, guided weapons with this submarine. Uh, Self-noise, 126 decibels. Now, I do believe this is running flank speed. Uh, the alphas are actually very, very quiet when they are creeping or running in silent mode. Offensive weapons were rocking the SSN-15 Starfish, okay, standoff weapon. Uh, the, the Set-65, three torpedoes. We got the Schivels on here. Oh, the Schivels are fun, folks. Uh, the Set-60s, the 5365, and the MG-74 decoys. Sensors on the uh, Alpha, we have the Snoop Head Search Radar ESM mass mounted. We have the Squid Arm Active and Passive Sonar, low medium frequencies, hall mounted. Uh, note, there is no total ray installed in the Alpha, 
like I said, they were going for a very small submarine, very powerful, very compact, very automated to be an underwater interceptor. Get out there, hit, and go. That's what they wanted. Uh, In-game notes, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, these are among the fastest submarines ever built, highly automated and fitted with advanced sonar weapons. An exotic liquid metal reactor propels these boats at a staggering 40 plus knots underwater. These high speeds allow them to outrun most anti-submarine warfare torpedoes or ASW, but it makes, uh, uh, makes the alphas extremely noisy. However, at slower speeds, they are quiet and fitted with special creep motors for silent running. Now, these are the creep motors. You guys have seen these before. They're little, two little creep motors, okay? Once again, on the alphas, they are not uh, uh, animated. These don't spin, okay? We don't get that until the mic class, which I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, so let's check the other alpha. 81.4 by 9.5. 81.4. Okay, so this alpha is a little heavier. 4,500 tons in-game submerged displacement. It's faster, 42 knots flank bell, with a crew of 45. Block one is 41 knots flank speed with a crew of 40. So it looks like same dimensions, same overall uh, weapons, weapon systems, propulsion systems. Everything's identical on the boat, but it's a little heavier. It's got five more crew and goes faster at 42 knots flank bell. Test step is still 1,050 feet. Yep, 1,050 feet. Weapon stores are the same. Number of wires. Uh, 125 decibels on a block two for noise. 126 decibels on the block one for noise. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to uh, have some fun with this stream. We're going to take out both boats. We'll try both boats and see how they do. Uh, snoop head search radar we went over that blah, 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 blah. squid arm what's the sonar on this one squid arm okay so they're all the same all right so let's take out block one let's take out the block one and see what we got except okay so we're going to be taking out the k463 let's give her a wheel let's take her out the alpha i love the alphas Okay, K463 west of Gilbatar, scattered light breeze. New sonar contact bearing 302, designate contact Sierra 1. I'm at 427 feet. Our heading is 337 degrees and our speed is 5 knots. Local conditions in my area, no surface duct and no thermal layer, so we have nowhere to hide. Uh, we're going to close at 25,000 yards. Let's see what we got. Alpha number 1. That's just a mean looking little boat. Okay, so we got Sierra 2. And Sierra 1. Let's get on Sierra 2. Yeah, I see what I'm saying? The little creeper motors. They don't, uh, they're not animated, but I will say this, the detail on the alphas is amazing, simply amazing. You can see little grates on the intakes, really cool. Okay, so contacts here too, relative bearing to the ship, 287 degrees. Uh, course, is, course is unknown, but my speed is 12 knots, range is 8,300 yards. We are on a course, 337 degrees, speed 5 knots, and our depth is 427 feet. So let's go to our signature. Let's see if we can bag this guy. The last time I did a live stream playing the Alpha was before I decided to go ahead and start from the beginning and finish the entire Soviet line in the game and I had a ball playing the alpha I don't know if you guys remember you can look on my channel it was a couple months ago but uh, there was a mark 48 ad cap chasing my alpha 
and I was going flank speed, and I was literally outrunning the torpedo, and that's what they wanted. They wanted something fast. All right, let's keep looking. What is this contact? Come on. Let me know. It's gonna be... Survey says... Come on. No. Wait a minute. Part of the cargo boat. It's not a fleet oiler. Okay, let's keep going. That's close. That's got to be a, a merchant of some sort. That ain't no damn summer, I tell you that. Merchant, merchant. Oil. <gasps> it's a whale! We got a biologic. Yep, that's a biologic. Let's see if he wants to sing. Ah, it's a blue whale. Hello, whale. Sometimes they'll sing for you. I want to see if I can get him to sing. I want to see if he'll sing for you guys. Let's see if we can do that. Let's turn the uh, let's turn to two seven zero degrees and see if we can get a better beat up. Uh, see if my boys can get a better fix on them with a the sonar, and see if I can. Uh, See if he wants to sing for us. I think it's really cool that they put like whale uh, songs in the game. It's really cool. There he goes. He's singing. That is so cool. Oh, we got a humpback. There's another whale. Let's look at the humpback. He's going way too fast. Hey, they did a really good job on the design, or the, not the design, but look at the graphics on the whales, man. That looks cool. What a treat. Uh, is that all you're doing, bud? Is that all the singing you're gonna do, bro? So Sierra 1 is a humpback, a biologic. And Sierra 2 is... A blue whale, biologic. That is so cool. I love that. There goes Mr. Blue Whale.
Bye bye, buddy. You know, let's go back to our humpback. Oh, he's deep. Wow, he's deep. Range is zero one. Oh, there he goes. Seven thousand yards. I'd love to pull up next to him. That's so cool, man. Very cool. Very cool. That's so awesome. But we're not here to... We're not here to, uh... You know, swim in the whales. Well, we technically are. But we have an enemy submarine out here somewhere. And we need to find him. So we got the humpbacks. Alright, really, really cool. So let's go ahead and, uh... I'm going to put an active sonar ping out. I got no problems running from a torpedo. I just want to see if there's anybody else out here. Here we go. Look for a return. You know, a lot of people don't realize how loud and powerful a sonar ping, an active ping, there we go, is underwater. Oh, really? Oh, I found you. Now we're going to have some fun. Now we're going to have some fun, folks. So that weapon's going to be running at me. Let's load a... Uh, weapons. Let's load a decoy. Uh, can't. Uh, you know what, though? I'm going to load that. And I'm going to load a decoy in... That one. Looks like a sturgeon or that's no, not a, nar a narwhal. Narwhal has a hump on the aft end of that submarine, but this is a sturgeon. So he's firing a. Uh, yep, 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 yep. All right. No problem. He's on the surface. Or he's close to the surface. So, you can see what he did. I couldn't pick him up on, on passive, but once I hit him with a sonar ping, his sonar team worked out that a, a bearing for a firing solution, and he fired. Yes, he did. Yeah, he disappeared. Time to go alpha time for that speed but before we do that weapon let's launch this decoy no I don't want to shoot at the poor little humpback I want to go like this alright so we're gonna put that decoy out that MG 74 Oh, humpback, don't turn towards me. Don't come say hi to me. I'm busy. I need to come right up to my boat. If I can get a screenshot of that, that'd be cool. But I got a torpedo hot coming. So let's do this. I 
I roughly know where he's at. No, you know what I'm going to do? We're not going to play with this guy. Let's take her down. Let's dive the boat. 1,200 feet. Yeah, let's, uh, let's change our depth drastically. we got to go to a torpedo evasion depth. As far as that Mark 48 coming right at me, I'm going to kick on the steam here in a minute. We'll see if we can outrun them. Come on down, boys. Dive the boat. Now, I'm hoping by changing depth, so I'm going to come down. We know he's around... Judging by looking at him when he fired that torpedo, he's around two to three hundred feet. So he's up here, unless he dove. Torpedo's coming this way, as you guys can see. Oh yeah, he's close to the surface. Um, let's get the boat down. Let's see what that torpedo does. If my decoy doesn't take him, which he should. Uh, then we're just going to kick on full flank bell, and we're just going to start maneuvering, and I'm going to outrun this guy. That's the plan, anyway. So I want to get off this. I think we're looking at a sturgeon. So I'm going to set that up for a sturgeon. Alright, de yeah, decoy's going at him. We're at a depth of 960 feet, holding on course 259, speed 5 knots. Let's see if we can get down here and get away from this guy. Uh, what's up, B. Dalton? Uh, I just modified my sub, 300 knot underwater. If you want faster sub, go to Epic Mod Vessels, find your favorite sub or ship. For instance, oh, okay. That's cool, bro, but I, I, I'm i not going to take a sub 300 knots. I mean, that's that's fun, but it's not that real realistic for me. <laughs> I have to try it, though. Maybe I'll do a take out a Virginia glass or something, and, like, you know, a hot rodder. Just have some fun. Come on down, girl. Come on down. I want to see if these, uh, if you guys are watching in my lower left hand screen, I want to see if these decoys, or if this one decoy will actually uh, get this guy out of here. That's what I want to see. Let's see what happens. Here we go. They're about to merge. 1,000. Okay, so we overshot depth. Okay. Oh yeah, we're deep. Ah, uh, damn. I hate that glitch. Alright, here we go. They're about to merge. They're about to merge. No way to activate that. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's going high. He's going to go high. He's going to go high. There's his enemy torpedo. There's that Mark 48. Just completely ignored it. You see that? Yep, they're wire guiding it. Watch this. 
Yep, torpedo in the water. Haul ass, boys. Let's go. Come on, Alpha. Come get me, boys. Plank bell. Oh, come and get me, baby. Now you see the alpha move. Here we go. Oh, he coming deep. He gonna try. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Where's he at? I'm looking for a torpedo track. Oh, he coming. Oh, he coming. How close is he? Oh, he gonna try. 36, 38 knots. 38 knots, 39 knots. We're hauling, but we're full power. Come get me. Come get me. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Is he going to make contact with me? I don't think so. 40 knots. 40 knots. Uh, uh-oh. He's gaining a little bit. He's gaining. Ah! <laughs> get away from my boat. Oh no, I got hit. I got hit, damn it. Oh, I thought I could. Ah, shit. I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh man, I thought I could outrun him. Well, this is the, uh, I'll stop. Uh, this is the block one. I th what, what was it, 41 knots? Let me look. 41 knots? But the other one only... Ah, shut up, we know Victor. 41 knots on this one, but... I... Yeah, 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 yeah. 42 knots on the block two that we were talking about earlier. So let's fix the boat. Oh hell, this boat would have been destroyed. God damn it. Are we fixing stuff yet? No, ballast is jacked up. Oh, there we go. Reactor scrambled. Damn it. That sucked. Uh, use your Ross torpedoes to run off enemy torpedoes. They're good decoys. Really? I didn't know that. I'm going to try that. The ballast is repaired. Now I got to fix the reactor. God, we're in trouble, boys. There's another one. But maybe he's going for the decoy. Son of a beep. Did I lose torpedo? What's this guy doing? He's going. He looks like he's activating. What? What? Nah, they're gonna they're gonna pass each other again. Yeah, fix the boat. Are we fixed? Nope, they're fixing the reactor. Yeah, you're right. I gotta get the 50 feet. Let's get the hell out of here. Riser to 50 feet, boys. No, not the surface, 50. Yes, 
I don't know where that his torpedo's going. Paul is 26%. One more hit and I'm screwed. Yeah, there's that asshole. <laughs> Signature. Yeah, he's a sturgeon. I know who he is. I know who he is. They gotta fix my boat. They gotta fix my boat, folks, before we can do anything. He's closed, man. Come on, damage control. Get this shit fixed. Let's go. You can't fix the hull. Nah, there's no fixing the hull. Tubes. Man, look at that hole. Look at that. Well, at least I got the listen of whales. That was kind of cool. I'm not making it. I shouldn't be making any noise besides the damage control parties. This guy's a jerk. Well, I got my engines back, so. <laughs> 105 possible, but not recommended. Yeah, right? I think my, uh, I don't know where the hell he fired that torpedo. Look at that. I think they're, they're drunk. Ah, damn it, he disappeared. Trying to turn towards them. What an asshole! I'm gonna. We gotta do something here. I gotta do something. Load them up, boys. Load up the skivels. Load up everything we got. I'm gonna nuke them. I'm gonna try to nuke this guy. I don't have a chance. Here you go. All right, well, there's my decoy. Is he over here? No. Wait. This alpha's gonna go out with a fight. We're going nuke. Load up, lads. Should have been right there if he was right there. He's not. So we're going to go active again. Give me an active ping on this guy. Where are you at? I got him. He's right there. You go deep? It's a narwhal. 300 feet. We're gonna pop him. Here we go. Stand by. Weapons. Tube three. I got something for you. I'm gonna drop it right on him. Oh shit! I'm out of range. I can't. Damn it! All right, got something better for him. I can't drop those, but I got the uh, skivels. Hit that son of a bitch right there. Fire! That's alright. Go get him, go get him, go get him, you rocket! <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's right there. Is he diving? I can't, I don't know, but we're gonna set off this warhead. God damn, that thing's moving. Look at that. He ain't diving that fast, boys. 
Stand by for detonation. I think we got him. Oh, he went deep. He's going deep. We're gonna get a detonation. Stand by. Oh, please hit him. He's moving for his life. Oh, there's my skibble. Shit, I'm gonna miss him. I'm gonna miss him. You can fire all you want, you bastard. Damn it. Oh, we, wait, we got him. Hit him again. Hit him again. I'm gonna launch another one at him. Cause he's an asshole. Stand by. Yeah, he's firing torpedoes at me. That's okay. Where are you running to, Narwhal? Oh, he's damaged. He's, oh, I got another one for you. Where's his depth? He's coming back up. Weapons. Two, five, fire. Give me the fire button. Get this bastard there. Get him again. Skibble. Get him. We gonna get him. Come on, come on, come on. If the if he would come to the surface and he's not. Okay. Guy, right, let's get some speed. Five hundred feet. All right, let's launch some torpedoes at him. Come on, baby. He's damaged. Oh, he got his speed back. He's damaged. He ain't doing good. Look at that big old hole I put in him. That sub would be toast. That would be toast, folks. Let's get him. Here goes my skibble. Come on, come on, come on. Give me a detonation. Can we do it again. Right behind him. Kill him. Kill him. He's right there. Blow up. Yes! We got him! Yeah! Woo! Oh, damn. Look at that damn. Oh, don't mess with the shivel. The shivel, the shivel, the shank. The the rocket looking nuclear arm torpedo from hell. That's what that was, boys and girls. That was a good shot. But we're not up oh, we're not out of the woods yet. Son of a Yeah, stop celebrating Mike, get the hell out of here. Run. We gotta run, we gotta run, we gotta run. Go that way. Turn around. Full speed. Captain, all you want. Let's get the hell out of here. Is everything fixed? Yes. This is my hall jack. That was cool, man. I like those little skibbles. Some guys call them Skittles. I'm like, no, nah, be come on. Guys. <laughs> be Dalton Kaboom. It took two of them though, Jack. We got them though. Now we get the hell out of Dodge. We got a torpedo crawling up our shaft. We're out of here. Just to make sure this dude doesn't want to play with me, I'm gonna launch some decoys. Change course. Let's start doing some heat up. Yep, yep. Okay, let's do that. Let's start doing some knuckles. I'm gonna start dropping decoys. Here we go. Change course again. Come on, here. Come on, here. Come on, here. 
Drop it. Drop it, Bubba. Yeah! There we go. First rudder. Make a knuckle. What I want to do now is just make all kinds of noise. Because I don't want this guy tracking up. Knuckle formed. I love knuckles. Okay, we're gonna form another knuckle. He's coming. My torpedo's coming. So I'm gonna leave a little breadcrumb for him. All right. Do another knuckle. Rudder amidships. Should be rudder amidships. No, not yet. There she is. Rudder amidships. Now let's just run. I've dropped so many decoys and made so much noise. I'm hoping to fool this, uh, this Mark 48. But here's the thing, folks. I nailed his ass with that second skivel, that nuclear arm skivel, before he could activate that weapon. So, it was still under wire guidance. Maybe the Mark 48 will activate if the wires broke or something happens. I don't know. But all I know is, look, we moving. 41 knots, 500 feet. Course, 030. The boat is screwed up. Take a look at him. Oh, it is a narwhal. I'm sorry. Shit, I thought it was a sturgeon. My bad, folks. Yep. Yep. There it is. <laughs> Torpedo in the water, bearing 222. He didn't fall for the decoys, huh? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Ah, how do you like that, Bubba? Fall for them decoys. I left you a nice little bread truck, uh, breadcrumb trail, bro. I'm getting away from you at the same time. Is he coming back? We're running. I'm not gonna drop any more decoys yet. I want to see if he's still messing with these guys, and I think he is. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's do this. Change course. We're going to come to heading 284 degrees. Slow her down. Woo, look at that boat turn like that. Let's see. Oh, yep, 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 yep. We picked him up on sonar. Where's he going? You gotta be kidding me. He's gonna go for the the whale? What, bro? He's about to kill Free Willy. Are you serious? Are you serious? That Mark 48's locking up on that whale. What the? No. Swim. Swim, you bastard. Swim! What are you doing? What the fuck was that? Oh my god! <laughs> you, what? What? Did you see that? The Mark Forty Eight. Took out Free Willy. Oh my God! I've never seen that until right now in this game. A Mark Forty Eight Mod Four torpedo took out Free Willy. That is effed up. That's <laughs> hey, he's just swimming around, you know. He sang for us earlier, bro. And here comes a Mark 48. 
what the hell is wrong with this world? <laughs> oh, God. B. Dalton, Captain Ahab would be proud. Yeah, he would. Oh, that's... Oh, at least our humpback... Wait a minute. No, that was the humpback. He died. Oh, at least the blue whale got away. That's the biggest creature on the planet. What what is a what is a blue so B dot look that up real quick. What's the average weight of a blue whale? I think it's what 500 tons or 5000 tons. Things huge. Yeah, our, our blue whale said, "Fuck you guys. I'm out of here. I just saw what happened to Free Willy. I'm going that way." You know what I mean? <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. That was fun. Oh. Uh, well. So the first uh, Alpha. Block one we took in. Yeah, we took a hit. But at least I nailed that bastard. With the two skivels. I wasn't uh, able to launch my... Uh, the SSN 15s or whatever. What did I say? They were, what were they? The I wasn't able to launch those guys. Uh, because I was too close. Yeah, the SSN 15 Starfish. I really wanted to launch those. Those are fun. But uh, that was crazy, man. I can't. I've never seen Free Willy taken out by a weapon. Asshole NATO. Kill the Russians at all costs. Yeah. You say you got jacked up. Yeah, you dead as hell. Look at that. Damn. Ha! Huh. Loved it. Alright, oh, I bet B. Dalton looked it up. 330,000 pounds. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. We're going to be interactive. Hold on a minute. Let's have some fun. Hey, Surrey. How many tons is 330,000 pounds? Wait, she ain't talking to me. Hold up. How many tons is 330,000 pounds? That is 165 tons. That's a big ass weight. <laughs> oh, swim away, blue whale. Swim, my friend. Go. Now he's talking. You hear him? In 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 whale speak, he's saying, "Fuck you guys! I'm out of here. I'm gone. I'm going this way. I'm gonna go find some uh, fish and do my thing. Y'all just keep killing each other." <laughs> oh man, that's a big ass hole, though. Dude. Damn. Now, to be fair, folks, I'll pause it for a minute. To be fair, this is just a video game. You know, nobody's getting hurt. Free Willy was not blowing into fish food, okay? <coughs> uh, and at the depths we're doing this game, this kind of damage you're seeing on the sub, uh, even though this is a double hull design, this would this would be fatal. This would be a catastrophic hit. This this sub would be dead. And the crew would. So, so I just, everybody keep that in mind. We all know we're just playing a video game. Nobody's really getting hurt. It's just for fun. But, uh, yeah, man. That sucks. Let's go to the surface. Let's surface the boat. We gotta radio in the call. We gotta radio in the kill, and then we gotta tell command that the asshole Yankees killed a poor innocent whale. Let's do that. Let's go. go, ahead, go, ahead, go. <laughs> I can't believe it. Zero did on him. Sucks, man. Sucks. All right, what's our depth? Four, five, zero, going up. You know what I really need to do, guys? I need to put the uh, the measurement system in uh, metric because uh, the Russians don't run Imperial or what we do, the whatever. Yeah, they run metric. So all this feet and stuff, it should be more meters if I want to be more realistic with the game. 
Oh, in other news, I was checking out some, uh, everybody saw the, the Harry Potter stream, Harry Potter and submarines, and I was trying out some music for one of my friends, and uh, it actually worked pretty good. So I'm, I'm looking around, I'm trying to find some, like, epic Russian music, like, you know, Russian Navy, Russian military, just to kind of do something cool for the stream when I'm driving the Russian boats. Uh, not taking anything away from the, uh, the, the, the music from Epic Mod or Dot Mod or the, it, it's great music, but I think it can do some more, uh, immersiveness with some other music you find. All right, let's get to the surface. 120 feet, we're coming up. Coming up. Uh, B. Dalton. That sub looked like Swiss. Yeah, it's dead. Uh, the heart is 400 pounds. So the, the, the average size heart of a great blue whale. 400 pounds? Uh, B. Dalton, Russian Orthodox music is pretty cool. Well, we'll try that. I'll tell you what. We'll try that when we do block two of the, uh, Alpha class. Like I told you guys, there's two of them. You guys saw that. Oh, that's a bad hit. Man, I'd be dead right now. Alright, scope's up. Let's get him up. Let's take a look. See if there's any surface contact. I don't think there is. Our sea state. Not, ah, not. Ah, we we'll surfed the boat. Get her up. Yeah, that's a bad hit. That kind of hit would would weaken this submarine structurally. It'd probably rip off the entire stern. It really would. I guarantee you it would. All right, come on up, Alpha. Such a look at look at look how small that submarine is. That that was cool about the Alpha. Uh, there was seven planned. I know that there was seven Alpha class submarines planned to be built, but they only built I think six. Maybe I got that wrong. Anyway, one of them was canceled. The rest were retired, and they served. I think the last remaining Alpha served until 1996, 1997, then it was finally decommissioned. So, these are cool little boats, man. I like these little boats. Oh, here's something I wanted to show you guys real quick. Right here, we talked about where, what compartment the crew is because these Alpha class submarines are highly automated. You see this little structure on top of the sail? I'll show you both sides. See it right there? Oh, just watch my mouse. And we'll look at the top. This little guy right here. This is what's called a rescue pop-up chamber. The Russians actually put this in there. They could, they, You could fit 40 men into this rescue pop-up chamber, right? And what would happen was, if there's a catastrophic casualty on the sub where you were going to sink, the crew could get out of compartment 3, like they have, where they are, get into this... Uh, rescue chamber, this capsule looking little guy right here, and what it would do, it would it would release and blow away from the sail of the submarine, so the submarine would be sinking, this would blow to the surface with all the crew in there highly buoyant, could take some damage and still float, really really cool, if you want more information on the Alpha class submarine, go check out my buddy uh, Aaron over at Subbrief, he has a very good lecture about an hour, hour and 20 minutes long about the Alpha class. He talks about the the, the, the the beginnings of the Alpha, why they wanted it. He's got some awesome awesome photos showing the sub being built, the double hull, the titanium, stuff like that. Talks about the reactors, talks about the performance. It's a really good little lecture. Check out Subbrief if you guys want to see more information on these. Alright, so we're radioing in. Uh, command, blah, 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 we, uh, we nuked a narwhal. Oh, by the way, the asshole Americans decided to kill an innocent whale. They could feed more propaganda into the anti-American machine right there, just with killing free willy bastards. <laughs> All right, leave combat. That was pretty cool. So we took out a uh, narwhal.
with the shkivel. In fact, that's the first time I think I've used a shkivel live on stream. It actually took out a submarine. So that was a, a milestone for Old Man Rebel. Cool. Okay, so that's block one. Uh, block one of the Alpha class in this little series. And then we will be doing... Uh, ooh, that looks like a mic. What is that? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I didn't see what that guy was. Uh, looked like a mic glass, or it could have been a papa looking at the sail. Um, so yeah, block two, and then uh, for tomorrow's stream, we'll do, uh, I'm sorry, block one today. Tomorrow's stream, we'll do block two, and we'll take out that alpha and see how that alpha does. And then we'll uh, move up the, sh the uh, line in the uh, series of the Soviet submarines in cold waters with Epic Mod. All right, folks, got to get out of here. Got some things I got to take care of. Coming up on uh, 0700 hours my time. Everybody, thanks for uh, watching and uh, taking part in the stream. You guys are always welcome to hang out with Old Man Rebel. I really do appreciate it. Mr. B. Dalton, thank you for uh, looking up those stats for me, by the way. That was really cool. And I uh, hope you guys learned something on that. As always, check out Subbrief. Check out Aaron over there. He's got some good videos. And uh, just keep it real. Peace out till next time. As always, stay safe, look after one another, take care of one another, and I'll catch you guys next time.